<laughs> What's up, little chefs? Uh, today we're going to have some squash and zucchini, fried squash and zucchini, and some uh, bacon gravy with some fried pork chops in the middle of it, and some mashed potatoes. Trying to work on the zucchini and squash right now. This is fresh from our garden. And we just started the vlog channel just now. Yeah. I've been working on, and I dread it because I'm not done yet. Little Head Bullies Playroom. Yep. <laughs> I'm halfway. Halfway through. <laughs> and it's called Mama Needs a Break. Do you know how your kids can be when they have a playroom? He hoards clothes that don't fit him, Lincoln Logs that he doesn't play with, big toys he don't play with anymore, hoards pretty much anything he can in that playroom. I took out a bag of garbage. Just one so far. Bobble's so, getting stuff ready for today. Yeah. If you see a pile back here behind Papa's chair, that's what I brought out so far. I'm getting ready to fry some pork chops. We're going to make a, a smooth gravy. Oh, well, bacon gravy. We're going to make a bacon gravy. And if you guys could put Papa's dad in your prayers, that would be grateful. He is uh, basically filling up with fluid right now. He had a mild heart attack. And they're going, yeah, and a small heart attack. And they're trying to put, get him a room in, in a hospital in his network. They're trying to get him up into uh, Urbana. But I don't know. We'll see where they put him. We're still waiting. Because right now he's at the emergency room. And if he goes to Urbana, I'm going to have to go and see him. I know it's going to be it's going to be a drive, but I'll and he's, go. He, he's going to want you to take him out of there, and the answer is no. He has no choice in the matter. And the reason of that is he's got really bad dementia now. Yeah. So. I love him to death. He's my dad. Papa and his sister are his uh, power of attorneys for stuff, so they're the ones that makes the decisions. Yeah. And his sister already said, you're staying here. Yep. <laughs> he needs to realize that he's in the hospital for a reason. And he's there for a reason. To get better. Like I told her, put on Cowboys. That's what he likes to watch. If Cowboys on, he'd be happy. He'll sit there and he'll space out. <laughs> they got him on a drip. Because if they take him off the drip, his blood pressure drops. So he's got to be transported with an uh, ambulance. Yep. All the way to Urbana. Mm -hmm. I hate to see that, Bill. Oh, God. Don't send it to me. I don't want it. <laughs> and see, right now what I'm doing is uh, breading up some pork chops and stuff. And what you want to do with the pork chops is um, you want to part cook them. You don't want to fully, fully cook them. Um, and if you fully cook them, then they get too dry. You want to part cook them. And then we're going to make a white gravy, a bacon gravy. Yeah. And um, I'll show you guys that. Right now, what I'm doing is. Uh, Doing two things at once, like I always do when I'm cooking. What my usual thing is every night. Do we have instant potatoes in the house? I think there's some in that cabinet right there. If not, one of them can run out to the blessing box because there's three boxes. Yeah, we're going to have instant potatoes tonight. I'm out of regular potatoes, and our potatoes outside aren't ready yet. Mm. I wish they were. Those are getting to be pretty good size. 
and my big watermelon. Oh, I'm waiting patiently. The sugar baby watermelons are a lot different than regular watermelon. You gotta let the stem turn brown. I just don't know how much more patient I can be on waiting on watermelon. So what this said, you gotta wait for it, the stem to turn brown. Mm -hmm. And the stem ain't brown. I bet it weighs 10 pounds now. It's a big boy. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. Harvested more uh, green beans and cherry tomatoes and zucchini and squash today. Mm -hmm. Our regular tomato plants are doing good now. They're starting to produce. So, fingers crossed that I'll get to can tomatoes at least. Then waiting to can tomatoes so we have it for the winter. Yes, when I do breading, I don't really try to wash my hands that much. Because I know and eventually I'm going to get my hands dirty again. You guys see my hand full of breading and I'm still sitting here smoking? Mm -hmm. I apologize. That's just me. Yep. I'm so used to it. I'm at home. I ain't at a restaurant. If I was at a restaurant, I'd wash my hands every, every five seconds after breading. But and I'm you would have home. a towel around your waist somewhere, wouldn't you? Yep, I always did. So I got more out. Yeah, add a little bit more butter. Now I know you're hearing the movie in the background. It's Sleepwalkers by Stephen King. I can turn it down so we won't get in trouble. Stephen King's my favorite author. I've read practically every one of his books except for. Dolores Claiborne and the westerns that he wrote. I can't get into them. I've tried. I don't know what it is about them. I just can't get into them. One of, one of my favorites that he's done is The Stand, It, and Oh, I can't think of the other one. He's written a lot of books. Yes, it's starting to get a little smoky in here. That's Papa's fault. That's okay. You guys said you want some action videos. I'm giving you your action videos like you asked. And we are glad that you guys are learning. Learning how to cook, learning how to bake. And if you want to get your kid involved, the best thing is to start out small with them. By them family videos that we did together. Um, like making the pizzas, little pockets, stuff like that. Chili dogs. Chili dogs. Have them put the hot dogs in the water and put them on the stove. Get them involved with that first, yep. and then, then you put them in the, get them going in the hard stuff. That's when you teach them how to do flour. Yep. You don't want them to be scared of the stove at the beginning. Mm -mm. Um, took me a while for a little here, Billy. He was scared of the uh, grease. Grease in the fryer, and uh, the next time we were frying stuff in the fryer, I had him come in with me, and I had him help me put it in the grease. You don't just throw it in, let it splatter everywhere. That's why that's how you get burned. And he's overcome his fear. Oh, that right now he can't get his nose out of the phone. It ain't his 
So that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I um, am par frying stuff, cooking stuff. Ruby. Trying to do that, and I'm moving around while I'm doing it. Hey, little man. Little man. Can you go out to the blessed box and grab about a box of the instant potatoes? They are on the top shelf, I think it is. Might be the bottom, I can't remember. I don't have any regular potatoes. I just need the, a box of instant, honey. Might be just easier to go out and get it from out there. Low reaper is shit. Oh, yeah. Usually, the really the only time they'll take instant is if it's around holidays. I keep soups out there for the elderly. Um, always keep vegetable, canned vegetables out there and canned fruit, pasta, stuff like that. Used to had a lady that would come and take all the uh, spaghettios and ravioli and stuff like that for her kids. But we haven't seen her in a while, so I don't know if she's moved or what. So. I'm going to take these out of the pan. Just like this. These are par fried, too. They ain't fully fried. And give me a second. I got to get these vegetables out in a minute. The box. Huh? They're white boxes. No, there it isn't. Well, someone took them all then. There was two big ones and a small one. That's all right. Might be some in that closet, honey. Turn this thing down. Yeah. I'll make a butter room. That's what I'm doing right now. For the gravy? Yeah. I'm trying to shut that off for a minute so I can do these. Huh? Is there any back there, honey? No! You'll have to. Uncle Hillbilly's going to the store for us. Well, at least they're being used, you know. Right, honey? Yeah. There's a elderly man just down the street. He'll come down a few times a week and grabs different things out of the blessing box. We've offered to bring some down to him, and he's like, no, I like walking down here. It gives me exercise. Hmm? Say this. All right, so the next venture of mine is... I gotta find my bag. There they are. Spin this stuff off to the side, guys. Give me one second, please. Um, I gotta... Get cut in order. Now, it's my finger now. Give me that bacon, please. So I got fresh bacon. Ah. Chop it up. This is going in the gravy. Okay, that's put the bag ready for the fridge. Are we still doing cucumbers too? Yeah. I'll okay. Show you that. Yeah, we picked two of them today.
So I'm going to take some of my leftover seed and flour and add it to the um, to the butter the butter here and uh, turn the flame back on and then whisk it. <laughs> Mix it all together, incorporate it all together. That's one kitchen utensil my mom hardly ever used was a whisk. If it ain't creamy enough, get you some more butter. You can do it with bacon grease if you want to. But I'm doing it with this because I'm making uh, bacon grease anyways. How come southern people don't like to use a whisk? I used to not like to use a whisk either. Gotta start cooking. Start being the chef. Yeah. Well, my mom never used one. And when I came to chef, I had to get used to using one where I got screamed at. Yeah. It's weird that southern people don't use one. You know what I mean? They'll use spatulas, you know, and stuff like that, but they hardly ever use a whisk. Could you go now without using a whisk? Yeah. It's just easier. Yeah. What I used to use. And when I start cooking, that's when I start using the whisk a lot. Mom always used a spoon, and then she would hand it off to me and tell me, you stand there and you constantly stir, and don't you stop. Yes, ma'am. I miss my mom. Huh? Nope, I can't. So the next thing is, is you want to take your bacon. Add to it. Could you add any herbs to that if you wanted to? I already got it in there with that flour. What, cilantro? No. Rosemary and thyme? Rosemary and thyme is ah. my fire mixture that I use. There's not too many herbs you won't use. You use quite a bit of herbs. It's from working in Chinese kitchen. Yeah. They use a lot of herbs. A lot of fresh herbs and stuff. Can't wait till we till we can go back to the Dynasty Buffet. And then you want to take your meat that you just bar fried, and you want to layer it in here slowly. You just took all that up, and now you're touching it like it's cold. Oh my good gravy! Why are you scared? It's still hot. I can't touch hot stuff like that with my hands. Mm-mm. <laughs> no. Put a lid on it. Just like that. Turn it down. And let it cook slow. I've seen him reach in the fryer and grab stuff out of it. Just can't be afraid. Uh, yes, I can. I don't need a burn. So, there you are, all oh, I got some of it done. So, what we're going to do is come back after it's done cooking and show you guys what it looks like at the end results. How's that sound? So, we'll be back in a few minutes. So, I'll see you in a few. Peace. All righty. Back on? Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. Paula just got done. 
doing it, doing the play, uh, doing the, all the stuff. Looks delicious. Here you go, Mama. Show them. You want a second here, guys? Working on Sissy's plate right now. I'm very hot, guys. Very hot. <laughs> it's hot. Oh. Hello, yeah, buddy. Can you come in and pray, please? Can you come in and pray for us? I'm going to stand right here and pray for Grandpa. Dear Lord, thank you for food on that. Shout Grandpa, shout Uncle Tommy, shout everybody in this world, we shout for channel. Amen. Thank you, little head Billy. Let them know dinner's done. Ding, ding. So. Bacon gravy, smooth pork chops. Looks good. Fried zucchini and squash. So yummy to me. What do you think, Mom? No, it's fine to me. Yes, I got dirty doing it. <laughs> That's what happens when you make make stuff with flour. You get all dirty. But this is another video for you guys to enjoy. Um, I'll have mom send that out tonight. Um, like, subscribe, share us out. And, um, down below is a link for Amazon wish list. Join our channel. It's only $1.99 now. We dropped the price on that. Uh, there's little emoji things you can do or thank you, special thank yous if you want to do that too. And we got special live streams. Super thank you, super... Super something. Yeah. It's all there. And uh, we did get uh, an email about the shirts. And that company was, woo we They want me to sell them shirts way too high. I ain't going to make you guys pay almost $40 for a shirt. So we're still looking in. So we got another one we're trying to get a hold of. So letting you guys know, God bless you all. And thank you for watching. Peace.